Hey everybody, it's off-season recap time again here and we are winding down just to the last couple ones to go and today we're going to be talking about the Tampa Bay Lightning. What an off-season for Tampa Bay. Uh, really just trying to keep the team together, defending Stanley Cup champions. We know what an absolute juggernaut that team is, but now they've just gotten the news about Nikita Kucherov being out for the regular season this year. Uh, with a hip injury, so that obviously is a big blow to their forward group, but certainly helps their salary cap situation. And it's just, it's been a crazy offseason for the Lightning, and they're they're not done yet. They still need to sign Anthony Sorelli. As of me recording this, he doesn't have an, a deal officially done, although it does seem very, very close. Um, so Sorelli's still a little bit of a question mark at this point, but he should be back with the Lightning, and it's just been a wild offseason. So before we fully get into it, I just ask that you please subscribe, hit that like button. Both of those things help out a lot and are greatly appreciated, but let's start looking here at what the Lightning have done. As far as additions, there's really no notable additions to this team. Uh, they haven't had the cap space to make additions, and um, you know, it's been a lot more about just keeping the guys that they have there more so than trying to bring new players in. So there's no real additions. As far as subtractions go, uh, we've got Kevin Shattenkirk, defenseman. He's now with the Anaheim Ducks. He was an unrestricted free agent and moved on. Zach Bogosian, another defenseman. He's now with the Toronto Maple Leafs. He was a free agent and has moved on. And Carter Verhage was uh, not re-signed and brought back. So he now is with the Florida Panthers. So three uh, three players that saw NHL time last year out of the uh, out of Tampa Bay now. But the big thing with this team is the re-signings. Mikhail Sergachev, really important RFA defenseman to get re-signed. They get him done. Eric Chernak, another important RFA defenseman. He's signed. Pat Maroon is brought back. Jan Ruda is brought back. Luke Shen is brought back. So those are three depth guys that are, were important to their cup run last year. Matthew Joseph and Alexander Volkov, both kind of young forwards who don't have an everyday role in the lineup, but certainly um, could get could get games at the NHL level this this season. They both re-signed this year. So it's been a lot more about the re-signings for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And normally, you know, they would have been well over the salary cap with all of these re-signings, but they knew what was coming with Nikita Kucherov. Kucherov is going to spend the season on an LTIR, which means his $9.5 million cap hit uh, is not going to count against the salary cap. Uh, and or they're allowed to go over the salary cap by 9.5 million and uh that's gonna that has opened up their ability to re-sign a lot of these guys and Sorelli is next in line to get a new contract so um yeah I, it, Tampa's just it's been a crazy off season uh obviously they won the cup last year they're one of the absolute best teams in the league loaded roster um, but heading into this offseason, they had a lot of RFAs that they need to take care of, including, you know, the really big ones in Sorelli, Sergachev, and Chernak. Um, they've gotten two out of those three done so far, and it looks like Sorelli is very, very close to being done. It might even happen today. Um, so obviously, it looks like they're going to get those guys re-signed. But then the issue was the salary cap. They were going to be well over the salary cap. And, and it looked like they were going to be forced into making some sort of move. And now all of a sudden, Kucherov is on LTIR for the year. He's got a major hip issue, and he won't be playing in the regular season. So he goes to LTIR, kind of saves their cap situation. Now, it's not completely fixed. I still think there's a chance that they make a move because for Kucherov to come back, you know, if he comes back for the playoffs or comes back, you know, for, certainly for next season, they're, they're going to be right back in the same situation. So with the Kucherov thing on LTIR, they're just kind of kicking the can down the road a little bit to when they're going to have to make some sort of move. Um, but, you know, that's obviously saving them at least for the regular season this year to where they, they're not forced into doing something right now. They still might because um, obviously they're still right up against it cap wise. And like I said, they're just kicking the can down the road with the, with their salary cap situation. Um, you know, the, this is they might be okay for this year now, but they're going to be in the same situation next off season. Um, 
when they they're going to be you know Kucherov does come back and they're going to be vastly over the cap now they do have some guys coming off the books at the end of this year which they certainly won't be able to bring back but it's still going to be tight so this team's still very much up against it salary cap wise um but at least for now, they seem to be in decent shape because Kucherov's going to be on LTIR. So uh, obviously, hurts to lose one of the absolute best players in the NHL. I mean, no matter how good of a team you are, if you lose Nikita Kucherov, that's going to be uh, that's going to affect your your roster. That's going to be a hole in that roster, and and it's certainly going to hurt the Lightning not to have a guy like Kucherov. But at the same time, it really does help them salary cap wise. To where they're not forced into making a move right now before the start of the season and they can kind of wait and see how things play out so um anyway there hasn't been a whole lot of changes for the lightning it's mostly been about just keeping the team together and trying to bring back as close to the same roster that they had that won the stanley cup last year as they possibly can hopefully stamkos is healthy um i def- you know if stamkos is back 100 percent and can be you know, Steven Stamkos, then that's certainly going to help mitigate some of the loss of Nikita Kucherov. And uh, this is still an absolute juggernaut of a team. I think they're going to be in the President's Trophy race. I think, you know, they're they're going to, they're certainly the favorite to win that Central Division. And uh, they're going to be a fun team to watch this year. So that's what I've got on Tampa Bay. Like, comment, share, subscribe, follow on social media. All those links are down in the description. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon merchandise store and donation link are down in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.